You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Ezekiel chapter 43, and we'll be reading from the New English Translation. Then he brought me to the gate that faced toward the east. I saw the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. The sound was like that of rushing water, and the earth radiated his glory. It was like the vision I saw when he came to destroy the city, and the vision I saw by the Kibar River. I threw myself face down. The glory of the Lord came into the temple by way of the gate that faces east. Then a wind lifted me up and brought me to the inner court. I watched the glory of the Lord filling the temple. I heard someone speaking to me from the temple while the man was standing beside me. He said to me, Son of man, this is the place of my throne and the place for the soles of my feet, where I will live among the people of Israel forever. The house of Israel will no longer profane my holy name, neither they nor their kings, by their spiritual prostitution or by the pillars of their kings set up when they die. When they place their threshold by my threshold, and their doorpost by my doorpost, with only the wall between me and them, they profaned my holy name by the abominable deeds they committed. So I consumed them in my anger. Now they must put away their spiritual prostitution, and the pillars of their kings far from me, and then I will live among them forever. As for you, son of man, Describe the temple to the house of Israel so that they will be ashamed of their sins and measure the pattern. When they are ashamed of all that they have done, make known to them the design of the temple, its pattern, its exits and entrances, and its whole design, all its statutes, its entire design, and all its laws. Write it all down in their sight so that they may observe its entire design and all its statutes, and do them. This is the law of the temple. The entire area on top of the mountain all around will be most holy. Indeed, this is the law of the temple. And these are the measurements of the altar. Its base is one and three quarters feet high, and one and three quarters feet wide, and its border nine inches on its edge. This is to be the height of the altar. From the base of the ground to the lower edge is three and a half feet, and the width one and three quarters feet, and from the smaller ledge to the larger edge seven feet, and the width one and three quarters feet, and the altar hearth seven feet, and from the altar hearth four horns projecting upward. Now the altar hearth is a perfect square, twenty-one feet long and twenty-one feet wide. The ledge is twenty-four and a half feet long and twenty-four and a half feet wide on four sides. The border around it is ten and a half inches, and its surrounding base one and three quarters feet. Its steps face east. Then he said to me, Son of man, this is what the sovereign Lord says. These are the statutes of the altar. On the day it is built to offer up burnt offerings on it and to sprinkle blood on it, you will give a young bull for a sin offering to the Levitical priests who are descended from Zadok, who approach me to minister to me, declares the Sovereign Lord. You will take some of its blood and place it on the four horns of the altar, on the four corners of the ledge, and on the border all around. You will cleanse it and make atonement for it. You will also take the bull for the sin offering, and it will be burned in the appointed place in the temple outside the sanctuary. On the second day, you will offer a male goat without blemish for a sin offering. They will purify the altar just as they purified it with the bull. When you have finished purifying it, you will offer an unblemished young bull and an unblemished ram from the flock. You will present them before the Lord, and the priests will scatter salt on them and offer them up as a burnt offering to the Lord. For seven days you will provide every day a goat for a sin offering, a young bull and a ram from the flock, both without blemish, will be provided. 
For seven days they will make atonement for the altar and cleanse it, so they will consecrate it. When the prescribed period is over, on the eighth day and thereafter, the priests will offer up on the altar your burnt offerings and your peace offerings. I will accept you, declares the Sovereign Lord. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for your goodness and your grace and your blessings. We're grateful, Lord, for your love. We're grateful for the things that you reveal to us in this portion of Scripture. We're grateful, Lord, that it's your desire to live among and reign among your people and to make us holy. Lord, we recognize that in and of ourselves, we rebelled against you, and we have lived at a distance from you. But through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, we are reconciled to you. And we're grateful, Lord, for the love and the forgiveness and the compassion that you have chosen to show us, not because we deserved it, but because by nature you desire to show us your perfect mercy. So we're grateful for all of these things, and we're grateful for all that you've revealed to us in your word today. We thank you for this all. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. What kind of difference would it make if you could spend the next 31 days of your life seeing yourself from God's eyes? My newest book, Dwell on These Things, will help you do just that. Every day our hearts and minds fill with messages about ourselves, about the world, and about God. Messages that we replay in our minds again and again. Some of those messages are accurate and helpful, but some are the exact opposite of the truths that the Lord wants us to embrace. In Dwell on These Things, I'm going to show you how you can replace feelings of discouragement with a sense of God's goodness, how you can practice seeing yourself in the loving way God sees you, how you can exchange negative self-talk for positive biblical messages, and how you can learn to face each day with hope in your heart. To pick up your copy of Dwell on These Things, Please visit desirejesus.com slash dwell on these things where you'll find links to order it from your favorite retailer.